Everybody's having a hard time with PT core writing, especially task two. In this video, I'm gonna cover this question. I'll write an answer with less than nine minutes. I'll explain it as I go. So that's, it technically should be more time, but I'm gonna try to show you how to do it realistically with the best writing and how each of the things I'm gonna say is gonna give me the maximum mark because that's what you need. You need 90 points for a CLB9. So let's get started. Draft an email to your supervisor notifying them that due to energy and family matter, you are compelled to request short-term leave starting immediately. This request comes at a time when you're aware of the critical phase of the ongoing project your team is handling. In your email, concentrate on these things. Express your understanding of the timing's pro impact. Uh, offer reassurance about your dedication to the project's success. Elucidate the gravity of your family situation indicating that it's sudden nature and necessary. Okay. Uh, I don't brainstorm because you just have to write one sentence per body and it is supposed to be nine minutes. It's fast. So we don't have that brainstorming luxury in PT core. Uh, but I did want to read it to get a general idea because sometimes I might not read this one and include some of those points already in this one. So I just want to make sure I separate those things. Well, we'll get started and I want to show you how you can do this because people think it's very difficult. You can do this in less than nine minutes and get the top score. Let's go. Dear, is there a name specified? No. So we will make it up. Dear Mr. Bob, don't think about this too much. Just say Mr. Bob and yours sincerely. All right. No thinking here. Uh, Ricky Martin, the singer. All right. There we go. So uh, those are your points for salutation. I do have my word count here. Let's see. Uh, no, let me just open my word count because you would have that word count in the exam too. You want to make sure you don't do anything below 100 or over 120 words. Now, we're going to start with the purpose of my email is to, and you want to start directly in the intro with a purpose. It's a one sentence paragraph only, and conclusion is also one sentence. And, and here you just mention your purpose. So you, again, just to, you always want to go up and review because uh, it's easy to forget the question. I want to make sure we're on the right track. All right. Our family situation regards time off, critical phase. Uh, Personal email is to request some time off, and we're going to say relatively immediately due to certain family uh, complications. Is it family? Urgent family matter. Okay. Family complications. All right, look uh, at my paraphrasing. Instead of matter, I said complications. Uh, relatively immediately, putting that in between commas gives it an independent clause, not an independent, an extra clause, making the sentence complex. Right away, giving uh, the f providing the first sentence as an advanced sentence. You also have an adverb here, relatively, giving you the range of vocab. And you want to keep some words the same. Um, for example, family, you want to keep it right there because uh, it is the AI want you want to tell the AI that you are talking about the same thing from the question because if you change it too much, it'll think it's something else you're talking about. All right. And you're requesting some time off, which is very similar to uh, short term leave. So we have to paraphrase some words while keeping the others similar. Now, express your understanding of the timing's impact. Now, I don't need to start with a connector in body one because it's the first point I'm going to say. Body two and three, I'm going to think about connectors before starting. So express, remember the keywords, express. How do I express it? I am very aware, or instead of very, you always want to use advanced words. So you can always feel free to type the word and then delete it as soon as the advanced version pops in your head. I'm thoroughly um, understanding of the un, how do you say unlucky time or, or the un, let's, let's say unprecedented, but I, I don't want to say unprecedented because that, that's unexpected. Um, let, I'm throwing an understanding of the unfortunate timing of this personal emergency since it coincides with the current what is the understanding of the timing? So you have, you're in a critical phase on the ongoing project your team is handling. Okay. Uh, so it co coincides with the current, um, c 
current team project. However, so I want to express my understanding. So I have expressed it here. Um, let's see again. I am thoroughly understanding of the unfortunate timing of this personal emergency since it, since it coincides with the current team project. However, um, or let's do this. And I am extremely apologetic for this, okay? So you, again, have to express. You have to say, you have to show your emotions extremely apologetic, advanced word apologetic, advanced word coincides, and extremely is an adverb giving you more range of vocab. You know what I was gonna say was, however, I will, something else, you know, I was gonna go there, but I, that's why you have to go back, read the question. I wanna keep it to underst expressing my understanding of the timing's impact. Next, we're going to offer reassurance about your dedication to the project success. <clears throat> Nonetheless, how am I dedicated? I mean, I'm leaving. So what does that mean? Uh, elucidate the gravity is the next one of your family situation indicating. Okay, so nonetheless, um, here, because we have, it's weird because you have to reassure about your dedication, but you're going. So uh, I think we have to tell them that we'll come back and make sure that we will take on this project. But that's not important. The important thing is we reassure. Uh, so just to get to that, to build a good flow, we will add this point. Nonetheless, I will return. And here's the thing we're going to do. My return should be no longer than a week. Why did I do this? Because a lot of you overuse I too much. Leads you to less marks. And we want to change active sentences to passive that'll easily avoid that mistake my return should be no longer than a week full stop i'm not going to make this complex because i already made this a complex sentence so this paragraph will have simple sentences you need that combination should no, be no longer than a week um, this will be short as i understand the gravity of the the gravity of the project success. You know what? I'll copy the exact words here because I want to show the AI that I'm talking about that point exactly. I'm not going away. Uh, as I understand the gravity of the project success to which I am 100% committed. Okay? Because I want to uh, offer, I want to express my dedication and offer reassurance too. Now, reassurance, let's see if I've done that. Um, my return should be no longer than a week. This will be short as. Okay, so we'll do this. I assure you that my return should be no longer. Let's say will be no longer because you're assuring, so you're guaranteeing. Will be no longer than a week. This will be short as I understand the gravity of the project success to which I'm 100%, 100% committed. What's the problem? Uh, no, you don't need a comma here. It's a grammarly thing to which it's a continuous thing. No comma, no pause here. Uh, and I want to check my words here. But I have made sure that I have, in this paragraph, done reassurance and dedication too. Now, let's see. I'm looking at my timer too. So, okay, 84 words. I have enough time here for the last paragraph. Elucidate the gravity of your family situation, indicating its sudden nature and the necessity of your presence. It's too much for the amount of words we have left. Well, let's do this. Uh, nonetheless, was my last connector. Um, surely is going to be my connector. It's an adverb as well. It has to leave. Surely you will, you know, you will be understanding. Surely, um, yeah, I think I have to say you will understand my family situation. You can grasp the seriousness of a family emergency, which is why my presence there is direly needed, okay? Um, comma, especially given the sudden nature. Okay, so we want to put this because there is a part about the sudden nature and your presence is direly needed. We have mentioned that as well. Let's see how I'm looking for the words with the words 108. I only got 12 words left. Hoping for your positive response and this is enough because I want to make sure I'm finished before the nine minutes but again I'm talking we clearly have more time we can make this better um, 
you can, you can simply add, let me know if you have any questions, but let's try to make it better in one second. I will be hoping for a positive response from your end. Uh, let's remove the extra space. Let's check our word limit. It is 119. We'll stop here for your end. And that's it. Okay, when you have extra time, you want to proofread as well, make sure it looks good. But again, we hit all our criteria. You can see I was talking, but if I didn't talk, it would probably be done in four to five minutes. And then we would proofread more to get rid of any other mistakes, grammar, or if you have better additions. But it's not only about writing. Throughout writing, we're looking at uh, the words that we can make fancy. We have to be aware that, you know, you got a complex sentence, so let's make simple ones here. And then this one turned out to be complex, which is okay, it's actually good, given that you had too many things here to focus on. Remember also how I made sure I am answering this part with this part with this part. So I made sure all those elements from the question are there, because uh, you want the you want to tell the AI, look, I answered everything you asked for. At the same time, you don't want to just copy paste the words from the question, you want to paraphrase them and use advanced versions. Make sure it's structured like this with intro conclusion, three bodies that would answer the three bullet points. So everything is in sequence and you get good marks for the structure. And that is how you score a 90 point, you make a 90 point writing in less than nine minutes in the PT core writing section for email. So make sure you write like this. And if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Talk soon.